the activities of global armed forces and innovators remain largely shrouded in mystery. They persistently conceive and construct an array of distinctive armaments, leaving us to pray that we never experience their impact firsthand. These represent some of the most potent covert weapons worldwide. Before we commence, kindly show your support by liking this content, subscribing to our channel, and enabling notifications for a daily dose of captivating videos. Having addressed that, let's initiate our exploration. Number 5. The Skywall 100 Who would have thought that we would live to see today that you would hear someone saying something like, get those drones out of here, as if we were a bunch of G.I. Joe characters or something. Well, the future is now, and our skies are filling up with small flying devices, more sophisticated than radio planes. These flying surveillance crafts have better navigation, more sophisticated digital camera lights, and powerful enough to film people below with alarm and accuracy, also called unmanned aerial vehicles. They're going to change more than the way movie openings are filmed. Whether piloted by enemy states or pranksters, uninvited drones can cause serious problems. As drones become more sophisticated, they're being used by intelligence in the information war going on under our nose. Simple drones are becoming more affordable to the general public and used more recreationally too. One company is responding to the anti-drone market with a beautifully simple solution. OpenWorks Engineering is a UK-based tech company focusing on security and counter-terror. Their flagship product is Skywall 100, a new anti-de-drone projectile that a single operator fires from a bazooka-like ear rifle. The system has a smart guidance system that locks in on the drone visible in the scope. It shoots towards the target, and once the anti-drone knows it's near enough, it fires a net. To capture the unwelcome UAV put in safety first, the net takes the drone down in a parachute-like slow fall, so that crowds below aren't in danger of injury or property damage, and possibly so the drone can be taken in for questioning. Once caught, Skywall 100 can reach up to 100 meters away. Future models will be even bigger, and might even need two operators. Its first markets are going to be airports and military or counter-terror agencies, but we think soon after they'll be used by the rich and powerful for taking down media, pirates, trying to record concerts, and stopping paparazzi buzzing over luxury resorts if this seems excessive, listen. Last year, two drones over the Gatwick Airport in Sussex caused a full shutdown. When two drones were spotted moving over the fence into the airspace over the runway, they had to reschedule 760 flights carrying 110,000 people. The airport was running at capacity requiring days of diverting and rescheduling flights, causing the domino effect of missed meetings and cancelled family reunions. The airport took losses on all the rescheduling, but couldn't do anything about outside hotel reservations or taxi drivers price gouging. So much chaos caused by two little aircraft. Hopefully anti-drones are available to Amazon before thieves start using nets to take our longer-awaited drone-delivered goodies. Now it's time for the odd topic. The Phaser no more formally as the personal halting and simulation response rifle is laser technology, unlike any other, the first ever portable and non-lethal deterrent weapon intended for controlling hostile crowds and protecting troops. This bulky homo of a gun can shoot a green laser array at its target from a distance, causing them to experience temporary blindness. Yikes! As always, comment down below with the hashtag, hashtag odd topic, and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. Number 4. Scalable, Compact, Ultra Short Pulse Laser System, Scuples. This next secret weapon is much more scientific and scarier. What's more disturbing than Maya scale? Drone surveillance. How about being blasted by a device that can deafen you? inflict physical pain from an invisible ray, and bark orders at you in a clearing tone. The ultra-short pulse laser is a weapon being developed by the United States Marines. They use plasma, a lesser-known fourth form of matter, the three being liquid, solid, and vapor. The operator fires a beam at a target, and initially the weapon sends a ball of plasma using the laser to draw electrons out of thin air. Once on target, the plasma can transmit the chosen effect Stay with me here. One of the things the plasma can conduct is sound, definitely loud. 
Sounds and annoying sounds have been a known combat tactic, but not on this scale. What's even more impressive is the operator consent, clear voice messages like stop surrender, and so on to a target up to 330 feet away. They could be used to send emergency messages, but all the reported applications are for crowd control or military strikes. Imagine attended a concert and suddenly hearing a voice like God telling you to evacuate. It sounds like something out of the Hunger Games. Future models are expected to be loud as a jet engine, able to diff and target at 165 decibels. The last application for long-range plasma waves is a melee attack, and it's like something out of a 60-space horror movie thermal ablation, maybe a term you've heard of. If you or a loved one had cancer, it means a targeted rate, like a microwave center, heat up, organic matter, that is human tissue. In clinical cases, radiation therapy is meant to only kill the tumor. In a combat setting, you use the pulse laser system to microwave your opponent just a little for a pain deterrent or possibly nuke them where they stand. This breakthrough comes after decades of trial and error. Since the 90s, the US government has been trying to develop non-lethal weapons for stunning intruders and deterring hostile mobs. They say that paintballs and rubber balls work for some threats, but are ineffective against enraged combatants. So get ready for the future of pulse laces. Number 3. 5P42 Fillin. You've heard of night vision goggles. Well, this next super secret weapon is sort of like the opposite. The 5P42 Fillin or Eagle Owl is a counterintelligence tool developed by the Russians. A company called Rose Electronics is developing it as an outside technology contractor working for the Russian Armed Forces Counterintelligence. That is to say, efforts taken by one state to thwart the spying efforts of other states takes many forms. Countries train double agents, send out bad information, and take efforts to intercept any gathered intelligence before enemies receive it. One approach goes a little deeper into the process and intercepts message transfer at the site. That is to say, sabotage their intelligence gathering devices. What a concept! Make it hard or impossible for anyone spying on you to see. It's almost too simple like the Joker throwing the smoke bomb and disappearing in the confusion so the filling can reach people up to 5 kilometers away. It impairs enemies' eyesight quieter feet. The beam works on humans by flashing a bright light. It temporarily blinds them, but it's more sophisticated than snapping a Polaroid in someone's face. The beam is intense, and even if they could fix their sights on a target, the people hit with this beam are nauseous and too shaken to fire a clear shot in one test. One-fifth of the subjects said the beam made them feel nauseous. Bonus effects of the ray is that it impairs other electro-optical sight systems. It renders night vision goggles useless and makes sighting targets at night impossible without their laser rangefinders, and it takes out missile targeting systems. According to Russian naval public affairs releases, the Filin 5P42 is mounted on two of their warships. So, watch out if you're surveilling Russian Navy frigates, Admiral Gorshkov, or the Admiral Kasatinov. Number 2. Nanotechnology and Weaponized Nanobots Okay, am I the only one who's been waiting for nanobots to come up on this list? From Ant-Man, going way back to the 90s, nanotechnology has piqued our curiosity and imaginations. Nanotechnology is a catch-all term for developments and experiments on matter. At the smallest scales beyond atomic scientists can manipulate matter on a molecular and even supramolecular level. The agreed-upon definition of a nanobot is a non-biological robot or machine ranging from 0.1 to 10 micrometers big. A micrometer or a micron is one thousandth of a millimeter. Non-biological is part of the definition as it must be built from materials not engineered like a vaccine or genetically modified seat. The most amazing nanotechnological secret weapons are being developed as we speak. Superpowers around the world are investing great stakes in researching nanobots and related applications. The United States founded the National Nanotechnology Initiative in 2001, along with Japan and the European Union who respectively invested $750 million and $1.2 billion. The U.S. has budgeted nearly $1.4 billion as of 2019. Real-world applications for nanobots range as far as scientists' imaginations, 
a fleet of microsurges could someday clear up our clogged arteries. Like a tiny mining crew, we could have self-repairing roads and bridges. The powers that be are looking into weaponized nanobots, be they for surveillance, anti-surveillance, ballistics, anti-ballistics, disrupting food and water supplies, or even for biological warfare making people sick. Does the idea of microscopic robots multiplying at will, capable of building or destroying anything you can imagine, put you ill at ease? Don't start checking your mail and your medicines for tiny carabots just yet. As of now, nobody's come through with a viable prototype nanobots are all hypothetical for now. Number 1. Slaughterbots. This video gave me goosebumps. What if this is actually real? For sure. It's every general's dream slaughter bots is a dramatic short film showing a possible future in which oppressive governments abuse advanced technology to oppress their citizens. This video is meant to be scary. It's produced as a tool to get people motivated to condemn high high tech A weapon systems before it's too late. When I was little, I thought Robocop was the bad guy. Watching as an adult, I realized it's the corporation that developed Robocop, who are the villains watching slaughter bots. You feel like you're watching the release of an Apple product or one of those snazzy tech summits. The boys on Silicon Valley always go to and embarrass themselves. I think some of the folks behind this video saw Robocop too. In this day where science is done in our time, things we didn't think would be possible. It's worth listening Slaughter Bots was produced by the Future of Live Institute with Stuart Russell Professor for the University of California at Berkeley. The Institute has support of some high-profile scientific minds. Elon Musk is a noted AI critic, as was the late Stephen Hawking the release was time for the same time. The UN Convention on Conventional Weapons was held in Geneva. Their hope was to build support for a global ban on weapon systems run with artificial intelligence be they housed in drones or otherwise. The video shows palm-sized drones equipped with facial recognition capabilities, an AI that assesses the danger of a situation and reacts, rather than just call for a human authority's record activity, send out a verbal warning, or even emit some kind of stogas. The slaughter bots of anti-personnel features a pneumatic rod that pierces the target's skull like a lethal lobotomy. The presenter explains that human soldiers are fallible, they can get emotional and disobey orders. He shows a combat demo of a swarm slaughter bots taking down a group of men in a parking garage. He narrates the real fatal strikes as the crowd gossips in horror. These were all bad guys. That kind of oversimplified talk screams abuse of authority. The video explores the potential to intimidate and execute protesters for attacks, profiling specific groups, and it even shows the bots doing a terrorizing ear formation of a familiar hate symbol. Did you ever think you would live in a time? We need an agency called the Campaign to Stop Killer Robots. It sounds like something on Future Armor. But if you've ever seen Future Armor's Big Sister show The Simpsons, you know cynical cartoons have an unsettling high record of predicting ridiculous dystopian events. Which one of these high-tech weapons shock you the most? Which ones do you think will do the most good? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.